So here I am working away in an outline. While I'm working, I might want to jump to another list. For instance, I might have just finished a 30 minute block of work and want to jump to my Pomodoro outline. Some workflowy users like to have multiple browser tabs open so they can quickly access frequently visited lists. Now, keep in mind that I'm about to give you an example of something I don't do. Let me jump to my second tab, log my Pomodoro, and then jump back to the tab that I was in. And so I continue working in the same outline. And then I want to quickly check on what the remainder of my schedule for today looks like. So I jump to another workflowy list in my third tab, take a quick look or make some adjustments or add a task in, and then head back to tab one. Here in tab one, I put my nose to the grindstone for a bit. And a short while later, I need to pay my Kanban calendar a visit. So I jump to tab four. I see what I need to see and then jump back to tab one to refocus on what I was doing. What you just witnessed is a real life workflow for some people, but WFX puts an end to this madness. Let me show you. First, I'm going to close out all these extra tabs and just keep this one. Here's what WFX does. I'm going to visit the exact same lists you previously saw, but in just one tab. Let me jump from here to my Pomodoro outline. And then back to where I was. Now I'll jump to my tasks for today. And back again, if I want. And then again, I'll jump to my Kanban calendar. From here, I can go anywhere. So let me jump to my tag color index. And let me scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm going to jump to my Workflowy Academy outline, then to my social media checklist. You can create as many list shortcuts as you want. And now let me jump back to the list I was working in. I actually set up a shortcut for that list too. Activate my WFX prompt, BM for bookmark, which reminds me, let me quickly show you how to create a shortcut to jump to any list. First, I need to navigate to a list that I want to create a shortcut for. So let me zoom out to see where I'm at. I've been working on screencast number four. Let me zoom into number five. This is a skeleton outline of some ideas I want to cover in the next screencast. And when it comes time to work on this screencast, I'm going to create a shortcut for this list like so. I activate my WFX prompt, and then I need to use the built-in shortcut WFS. And my shortcut to jump to this list will be BM for bookmark. I'm actually already using this shortcut, as you've seen, so we'll see a pop-up message which says duplicate shortcut. OK to replace the shortcut with the current page. I'm going to go ahead and replace the shortcut with the page I'm on. So in effect, I'm recycling the BM or bookmark shortcut. Now you may be wondering where the shortcut information goes. Let me give you a sneak preview. There's one more built-in shortcut WFO for WFX options. This opens the WFX options page in a new tab. And here I'm going to do a quick search for the BM shortcut I just created. Let me click on this first match. And here you'll see the info of your shortcut. If I want, I can edit the information in the name, URL and shortcut fields. I can also delete a shortcut if I need. You can create new shortcuts directly on the options page if you want, but there's no need to do so because it's so darn easy directly in Workflowy. So I'm going to close this page now. Not only is WFX's list jumping feature going to get you around Workflowy way faster and easier than ever before, 
It also eliminates the need to have multiple workflowy tabs open in your browser. Speaking of which, let me jump back to one of the lists you saw me jump to before. Remember we had previously scrolled to the bottom of this list? Well, we're still at the bottom of this list. That's because Workflowy also remembers your page and cursor position in previously visited lists within the same browser session. So you'll see any list the way you left it. Okay, so one more jumping tip. How about if you want to jump to your home page? Well, all you do is activate the WFX prompt and without any input, just hit enter. 